Hello again. Uh, in this lesson, what we're going to do is show you in your gameplay how you can have different choices. And this is just called this is just an event called Show Choices. Uh, the beautiful thing about Show Choices is that you can have different outcomes based or uh, based in your different selections. So let me just show you an example. I've started one here. So I've got this guy, and he's just going to say something really unrelated to my story. The story, which is in order to get money from me, you have to answer a skill testing question. Then I have another text here, and the question is, what item, which item made Mario invincible in Super Mario Brothers? If you've played the game, you know that it's the star, but uh, what I want to show you here is, in order to answer that question, I can insert something called the show choices. It's right under show text. So show choices, you can have up to four choices. I wouldn't worry too much about this at the moment. Uh, you could edit all those things if you'd like to, but for now, I'm going to say, okay, flower. We all know that the flower doesn't do that. Uh, I'm also going to say I'll have B be the answer, choice 2 be the answer, the star, and I'll also say mushroom. Okay, so that's one part of the show choices, so it'll show all the choices. Now, the cool thing about show choices is you can see after each stream or after each selection, you can have different outcomes. So I'm going to say, okay, uh, when you choose this flower, I'm going to have a show text that pops up and says, um, sorry, but that's wrong, try again. Uh, after star, he's going to tell me, so I'm going under the star, show text, uh, that's correct. Here's some gold. I hope it helps you on your journey. Okay. And as you know, in, if you want to get gold, you actually also have to have an event where you are changing stuff. So that in this case, it's change gold, and you could get... I don't know, 50 gold. You can also set up shops later on in the game if you get gold that you can actually get and, and pay for items, but uh, we'll talk about that in a future lesson. Uh, so that's gold, and I can also see when mushroom, let's do something really unique. Let's just have him insert a show text saying, uh, you're wrong, your game has ended. Okay, and in order to end a game, there's an event here, I think in the third tab, that's called game over. Okay, so let's just see all of those working in the gameplay, and then I'll show you one other show choice, but there are hundreds of thousands of different types that you could have, obviously, so uh, you can choose what you like. So I'm gonna go up to him. So he says, in order to get money from me, you have to answer a skill testing question. Which item made Mario invincible in Super Mario Brothers? So if I answer flower, as we know, he's gonna say, sorry, that's wrong, try again. So I'll go back to him, as if this was a different scenario. Same question, we know if I choose star, I'm gonna get money. Okay, I can even press escape to see that money. You can see it's right down here. So it says 50 gold. And if I go up and choose the third option, which was mushroom, my game ends. So uh, that's one type. Uh, another type, there's again, like I said, tons of choices. Here's another event that I started, and here's one that says, uh, this guy says, would you like to go in, into battle with me? If you win, you will collect an iron. Uh, an iron sword, it should say. I should probably edit that. I meant it to say iron sword to help you on your journey. If you lose, your game may end. So uh, you could have an insert choice. And you can, in this case, it's a yes or a no. Do you want to go into battle with him? So I'll have if yes. There's an event actually called battle processing. That's right here. I'll show you in future uh, lessons how to edit those battles. Uh, in the database, but there's a battle processing, and it says if he won, so after that battle processing, which you can try on your own if you'd like to, uh, that he'll collect an iron sword. So I'm going to insert, again, a text after I win the battle that says, uh, congrats, here's your iron sword, okay, <clears throat> and I can collect that iron sword. So there's the iron sword and if I choose no so that's if I hit yes battle processing congrats iron sword and when no I can just have him say uh, tough luck but probably a good choice or something like that okay so that's another version there are all sorts of versions of choices you can have you can even have your own character, the main character, um, 
change the way he looks or, or change into a mage or some sort of magic character, whatever you like it to be. So that's it for this particular lesson.